Antibody testing is a type of blood test that looks for antibodies that are proteins. Antibodies are proteins made by the immune system in response to a viral infection. So they're a marker that the immune system has seen the virus before and has mounted an immune response against the virus. The reason to get the antibody test, there are a few reasons. The first is if you wanted to donate your plasma, so that could be a potential treatment for somebody else. The second is antibody testing on a population level offers us a lot of insight as to where the virus has been. Because remember, antibody testing looks in the past. It tells us which people may have been exposed to the virus and recovered from it. So that helps us to know what parts of our state the virus outbreaks have already occurred in, what parts of the state are still susceptible and naive to having had virus outbreaks, and it helps public health officials plan the response. And then finally, for you on an individual basis, to know whether or not you're positive helps give you some clarity whether that cold that you had back in February was actually a COVID-19 infection or not. But it doesn't ensure that you're immune against it, but it does help you understand whether or not you may already have been exposed and infected. The accuracy of a test is actually a function of the sensitivity, the specificity, which are test parameters, and the population being tested. So it's difficult to come up with an exact number because the population being tested could vary. But the test parameters themselves reveal that the antibody tests are actually quite accurate in and of themselves if they're used in the correct population. So with COVID-19 antibody testing, if you're testing a very low likelihood population. So someone who had no symptoms, someone who's had no exposures, and someone you know who really hasn't had any chance of contracting COVID-19, and their test comes back positive, it's more likely to be a false positive. On the other hand, if you test somebody who's either had symptoms consistent with COVID-19, or potentially had an exposure to somebody with COVID-19, or somebody who's a frontline worker, like a healthcare worker, or grocery store worker, or somebody who hasn't been able to maintain as much social distancing because of their occupation, and their test comes back positive, it's much more likely to be a true positive. The most commonly looked for antibody that we look for is called IgG, immunoglobulin G. There's also a second type called immunoglobulin M, which comes up a little bit sooner. But in general, you can start to see antibodies about 14 days after infection. Now, we don't know how long they last on the back end. What we do know from other coronaviruses like SARS and MERS and the ones that cause the common cold is that the antibodies in response to the infection can last anywhere from one to three years. But for this novel coronavirus, because it is so new, we don't yet know how long the antibodies will last. COVID-19 antibody testing at this point doesn't ensure that you're immune against COVID-19 because we, firstly, we don't know whether the antibody test being positive means you have enough antibodies to fight COVID-19 infection in the future. Secondly, we don't know if you have the right type of antibodies to fight COVID-19 infection in the future. And then thirdly, we don't know how long these antibodies last. Even if you do test positive today, how long would you be protected for? So you don't wanna get a, an antibody test as a way to get an immunity passport or as a way to feel like you don't need to practice social distancing or wear masks during the pandemic. In one of the recent trials, there was actually, uh, it was a randomized trial that was published that showed no significant benefit that was statistically significant, but the trend was in the right direction for people who got treated with the plasma. So really what we need are larger studies of patients in order to make sure that you know we have enough statistical power to detect a difference between the two treatment arms. Because the numbers look like they were going in the right direction, but we just didn't have enough patients to know whether that was statistically significant or not. So we need lots more people to actually donate plasma so that we can undertake these types of studies and really try to determine whether or not this is a viable therapy for COVID-19. If an antibody test comes back positive for COVID-19, it is possible that it could reflect infection with a different type of coronavirus because of cross-reactivity. Now, scientists are trying to get around this dilemma by trying to really target the antibody test against just those parts of COVID-19 that your body would recognize. So remember, COVID-19 is a ball and it has spikes coming off of it. So they're looking at that spike protein, antibodies against the spike protein, which is a much more specific part of the COVID-19 that's not 
shared amongst other coronaviruses. But it's always a possibility of something called cross-reactivity, whereby you test positive, not because you had COVID-19, but because you had a different coronavirus in the same family. And that would be a false positive or an example of a false positive. The test itself doesn't offer you any risk. So having a blood test is ex extremely low risk. The only caution I would give people who are low probability is to take the results with a grain of salt. So if you're very unlikely to have had COVID-19 and you go and get the test because you're curious and you end up having a positive result, my recommendation would be to get a second test to make sure that it's not a false positive. Because if you're very low likelihood of having it, you get a positive like we talked about, that may actually be a false positive. 